Hey Red Hots, it's Chili Z, and I just wanted to show you what I've been doing to make sure that my calendar is full of a lot of bookings. Um, I just got back from a party. Um, I've got my Aggie apron on still. Um, but we had a lot of fun with this game, and I wanted to share it with you. This is not a new game. I did not invent it. Lots of people have it. Lots of different companies use it. But this is my take on it and how I use it and what's working for me. Now, I will say that for some hostesses and for some people, the idea of getting the Raclette Tabletop Grill as a half-off item is plenty reason enough for people to book a party. However, when I'm walking into the hostess's house, some of those guests I may have talked to if I called the guests or if I met them on Facebook or whatever, so I may know what they like and what they want. And even until they've even played with the grill, they may not know they want it. So I can't leave it to chance or hope that somebody there is going to want the grill at half off. So that's why I think the booking necklaces or playing some kind of booking game is a really good idea so that you secure some bookings at the parties. Now, for me, my parties are pretty much a flow, like everything's going on all the time. I really don't do a real big, huge presentation. Um, if it's a small group, maybe, but the bigger the group, it kind of gets loud and rowdy, and I don't want to be sitting there talking in front of all of them. So it doesn't leave me a lot of time for my booking commercials and my recruiting conversations. So I do that, I pepper it throughout the conversation as everybody's cooking and grilling. I decided to use the booking necklaces because that way everyone has one on and it's a visual reminder to me and to them about the products we have. They're holding different products on these necklaces and they've got them on them, they can see them. And as they're cooking and using, you're gonna keep mentioning that they could get that one as a half off item or that as a half off item. But the booking necklace helps me to make sure that I remember to ask each and every person if they would like to book their own class, tasting, party, whatever you want to call it. And this is working really well. So everyone gets a necklace when they arrive, and then I, I tell them that um, they can have the item on their neck for free if they book a party tonight. If we pick a date and we put it on the calendar, they can get this item for free. Um, and... Then I say to the host, not only does your guest Sally get the item for free, but you get the item also if they book tonight or when they book tonight. Now, you guys can trade. You're not stuck with your item. You can pick whatever you want from the, from the list of all the different items. There's lots of different items that you guys are going to love, and we're going to talk about them. Um, and as I talk about the item, I'll tell them that's another one that you can get for free. Now, I just want to say this now. Yes, it is going to be an expense. But all the items that I've listed are $18 and under. You could also tell them that they could get the item half off. Or you can tell them, ask me how you can get that for free. And then you can present it a different way. But I heard this and I love it and I want to share it with you. What if you could go down to your corner store, the convenience store, whatever one you shop at, and you could just buy a cooking class, a Velada class, right? You bought that class and then just showed up and then there's a bunch of people there ready to buy from you, right? I mean, you'd pay for that, right? You'd go to the store and buy that. It'd be great if you just paid like 20, 30 bucks and then you got a party, you know, a $300, $400 party. It was great, right? It, and, and then from that you get bookings and whatever. But if you don't have your calendar booked, you'd be tempted to say, yeah, I'll go buy one of those parties down the street. Well, there's no such thing. You can't go buy it down the street, but you can invest a little bit in your business. Now, another way you might want to do this is for the hostess, maybe tell her if she gets three bookings, then she can have that item for free. Um, it really just depends on what you want to do. I do this instead of booking bags or anything else. This is the gift that people are going to get. They're not getting anything else from my party. I'm not giving any extra host anything. So the host gets the host rewards. And then if it's a second booking, if it's a booking off a of booking, she's going to get the free item from that previous party that we agreed to. I will bring it to that party, but that's it. So just think about when you're pricing your items and I'll show you what they are and talk about them a little bit. Okay, so I've seen this game a lot of different ways um, and I've seen it set up. I went and got these little bling bling necklaces. So they're really pretty and they've got little crystals inside of them. I've also seen these necklaces. Um, I got these in multicolor. So I know the beads tend to fall off of these necklaces. So I got them in multicolor in case they fall off. But these are my favorites because they're a little bit more durable. The guests are not taking their necklace. 
you're going to take the necklace back at the end of the party when you're checking them out and asking each single one of them when they want to book their party to get this for free. If they're not checking out with you or you don't do a checkout guest, desk or table, um, you can then go and take each necklace from each person. Say, I'll get it at the end. Don't take it off. I don't want to lose them. Um, and then you can take the necklace back and ask them at the time when they're getting the necklace back. Are you sure you don't want to get it for free? Do you want to look around at what some of the other people have so that you can make sure you can get what you want? Um, for example, if they want to book the party, they're going to get the raclette. Then you can tell them maybe you can get the tongs free or another batch of crepe mix or something like that. Okay, so I've got 10 different products. Some of them are repeats. And um, I'm going to put the files below so that you can get, if you want to do this, you can get the files for the pictures. So here's what they are. I've got a picture of something. Like for this one, it's the chocolate, right? And then on the back is the name of the product and the price, okay? And so what I did is I printed these off. So they're file, you can get the file below to get the print offs of each one of these. And the text, the files below for that too. Um, I'll put a link and you can have it. And so I did the crepe mix, the syrup, meltables, two pack of meltables, uh, chocolate, cheese dip, two pack of cheese dip, artisan rub, ceramic pillar, tongs, spatulata, the cutting mat, and then I threw in some bottles of wine. No, for me, that was an extra incentive because some people, they're thinking I want to book a party, but they don't want to have to do anything. I bring the food to my Velada parties, and if they want me to, I'll bring the wine, two bottles. That's on the necklaces. I have several of those. Um, because that may be the only barrier, right? I tell them, I've got everything covered. All you have to do is invite your friends. Okay, so there's two of them I want to talk about. In the file, they don't look like this. So you have to kind of make them like this. The cheese... I put them separate. You need to cut them out and then put them on here. And the meltables. Here's the meltables. I stuck those two. So the thing they're getting free is a two pack of meltables. They're $6 each. You could put it as just one pack of meltables. I mean, that could be, everybody could come in and either get a cheese or meltable, right? You can keep it inexpensive. Um, or, and a bottle of wine instead of two, if that's what you want to do. Um, I go to Sam's or Costco and get wine cheap. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but um, this way you can then, you know, cut them out. Okay, so what we're doing is you're going to print them out, the file, tape the labels to the back, and then cut them all out. And then I took these over to um, Office Depot because we get a discount there. And I had them laminated. They have these sheets that you can just stick them in, um, and they put them through the press. You can go do self-lamination if you want, but these are really, really hard. This is the hardest thickest plastic they have at the Office Depot. It'll take two to three sheets depending on where you put your little things. And then you wanna make sure when you're cutting it out that you don't cut where the air is. Cause like right up at the top here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little bit of air pocket. You don't wanna cut that or it'll expose the thing. You wanna punch a hole so you want enough room that the hole doesn't end up in the air pocket or um, too close to the top, okay? So you want to punch a hole in it, and then you want to make sure it doesn't, and then you cut around it. And it doesn't have, I mean, you can cut, I cut these super fast. I was in a hurry. <laughs> but um, you can cut it all pretty if you want to. Just try to make them not too pointy corners. I did the heaviest grade because my idea is, instead of giving the mini purses or any of the other things that I do for my Scentsy parties, people are using their hands my entire party. So that's why I decided the necklace. The other thing is with the heavy duty, they're reusable, and if anything gets on them, I can wipe them off. Clorox wipes, cleans everything off. So that's why they're pretty thick. Um, so I showed you the other ones, these beads. I think they're cute, and I love the bling. Now, I have seen people just put string, and that is totally fine. Or even some cute ribbon, you could attach it to Mardi Gras beads. But for me, I wanted something that was something that people could see, and that it was pretty, because I kind of like the bling. You guys know I'm all about the bling. <laughs> so anyway, um, I've got the files below. I, you just cut it out, and that's how you do it. So um, please ask me any questions you have, comments below. I would love to help you out however I can. So I can't wait to hear if this is something that's working for you. Um, I am consistently getting bookings at every party from my games. And for me, it's a really um, unobtrusive way for me to remember to ask for the bookings and get my calendar full. I hope this helps you too, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.